surveyors are obsolete and they will be replaced by robots and AI. This is what I hear for the past 15 years, but it's 2025 the year for that. Last week I went to Intergeo and I came to some conclusion that probably not everybody will agree with. Intergeo is probably the biggest geospatial expo in the world where you can see all the latest trends in geospatial industry. A month before the event, I got an email from a roadbook air system that invited me to Intergeo in Stuttgart and also uh, paid for two nights at a very nice hotel, literally one minute walk from the expo. Roadbooker system produce really cool survey accessories that I use every day on my project and I already made a video that uh, I'm gonna put in the description in case you want to check it out because I had only two days available I booked my flights for the evening before so I needed to book my own accommodation for that extra night and because the hotels uh, around the expo were extremely expensive I booked the hotel a bit further after two flights, which one was probably the shortest flight I ever had with an airline 20 minutes from Frankfurt to Stuttgart, uh, I landed at 11 p.m. and the receptionist uh, sent me a message that if I don't arrive in 30 minutes, I basically don't have access to my room. So I took a taxi that cost me 50 euros and I managed to get to the hotel in 20 minutes. I finally got uh, to my room where I stayed for a few hours basically and I found that massive Buddha statue who was guarding my sleep. No problem for me because I was really tired. Now let's come back to Intergeo which uh, again is probably one of the biggest expo in geospatial industry and it was huge. I'm talking about everything you can imagine in the terms of surveying and mapping from the classical GNSS and total station to robots and drones wandering about. My focus was primarily on drones and mobile scanning, but also keeping an eye open for any interesting stuff. What did I see? Well, Emily and Pix4D collaborate on a laser kit scanner that allows you to use your iPhone's camera and LiDAR sensor and get the centimeter accuracy thanks to the RTK correction. Navis released a smaller version of the scanner called MLX, which is still pretty big, but it has only one LiDAR sensor instead of two, and you probably gonna need a better technique to get the same data. Leica released a new icon with AI and a very interesting design, which uh, apparently is made for non-surveyors on an indoor finishing setting out. They also released the G5 GNSS receiver, which is a more affordable low tilt sensor receiver. I had other chats with a CIV robot that presented a robot that is used for automatically setting out large areas like roads or massive construction sites. I also checked the Lidareto and 3D target stands to check their solutions that allowed to install their system on different platforms like backpacks, cars or drones. Another stand I spent a bit more time was the Wingtra which I already took an interview and posted and also you can find it on this channel. In the evening, the whole place transformed to a big party with DJ and loads of beer. So, what's my take on uh, Intergeo 2024? I saw a lot of new companies from Europe that collaborate between them and integrate their solution for a better product. This can be only useful for us and it stimulates the competition. Before there were only a few big companies that were keeping their ecosystem closed. Another thing that uh, I saw is the data collection becomes more simple and automatic. So all the focus turns to data processing and data management and how it can be delivered in a useful way to the end client. This is probably the big challenge and those who can't keep it up, the pace will lose. In conclusion, in my opinion, all this technological progress is in our help and is meant to eliminate the repetitive error but it still need for an experienced surveyor to check, correct and supervise all this automatic process. It's 2025 the year that the geospatial industry as we know will disappear. Well, no. But if you are a surveyor who refuses to embrace the new trends, then you will probably become obsolete. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.